A very merry welly Christmas. Twelve years ago, a young friend of Pop said to him, I believe God is saying to you, put your slippers on and rest. Rubbish, said Pops. I want to die with my boots on. The devil can keep his slippers. Rob, Pops's brave young friend, stood his ground. Well, that's what the, I believe the Lord has said, Dave. Over the next few months, the chronic fatigue got worse and worse, until finally Pops found it difficult to get out of bed, and the only thing he could do was rest with his slippers on. Nana not only became his nurse and carer, but also the guard that didn't allow anyone to speak or see him because Pops just didn't have the energy to say anything to anybody. They were dark days, not only for Pops and Nana, but for the children also. Nobody knew what was happening. In Pops's heart, enemies that he had never had to face before seemed to be taking ground from him. Depression, unbelief, an army of thousands of whys surrounding him, but worst of all, the conscious presence of God had left him. But God never left him, just disappeared from view, and slowly over the years, through the faithfulness of a faithful God, who although sometimes invisible, is always underneath with his everlasting arms, and with the most gracious loving wife ever, Pops started to recover. As Pops was getting better, from time to time Pops would ask God when he could put his boots on again. Soon, but not yet, was the only answer. In the new year, Nana and Pops visited City Church in Liverpool. Pops's friend, the pastor, spoke about some of the things God may be calling us to do in the new year. And what a year! It turned out to be the year of COVID-19 virus. He illustrated his sermon by showing the congregation different pairs of footwear, and then he held up a pair of wellies and said, Someone needs to put on these wellies and get back to work. Pops whispered to Nana, that's me, they are my wellies. Pops knew God was going to do something. Two months later, COVID-19 lockdown started and because the children couldn't get together in church, Pops wanted to share something for the grandkids. But what? He was doing something in the garden when suddenly the baby elephant incident came to mind. The thought was so strong, he had to rush into the house, grab a pen shout Nana for some paper and started writing. After he finished, he looked down and realised he was still wearing his wellies. From then on, every Thursday and Friday and sometimes Saturday, Pops is writing and Nana is typing, something that Pops would have thought not thought possible in a million years. For a long time, friends have suggested Pops write a book, but he knew he could never get his head around the idea. But this way, with just one story a week, Although in a higgledy-piggledy order and a bit rough and ready, it has become possible. Pops even has some friends, Linda from the Wirral and Andy from Bournemouth, doing their best to sort out the proofreading and editing. What a marvellous, wonderful, mighty Jesus we have. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9 verse 8